So for the most part, I used basically all the regular keyframes, position, opacity, rotation, things like that, that I already knew how to do. So when I was deciding on how to approach this animation, I knew I wanted sound. And I specifically wanted it in the places where the alarm should have been going off, the clock was ticking, and the toast popping up. So I at first thought that you had to do this in Premiere Pro because that's what I'm used to, but I found out a way on how to add audio in After Effects, and so I wanted to teach you how to do that. So I saw that there was an audio button at the top right section, and so I went ahead and imported my audio files. So I just picked the ones I knew I wanted to use, the clock ticking, the bleep sound, and the toaster pop-up. So then I went ahead and found where I wanted to place them in my composition. Um, I chose to scroll all the way to the bottom just so I knew that the sound was at the bottom of my composition rather than somewhere in between all my other layers. So I found the exact point that I wanted the audio to be at, which was right there at 1 second and 17 frames and the first noise to happen is the alarm going off and so I imported that and so I knew I wanted it to start at a certain point so I went ahead and dragged that to where it needed to be and then I found out where the bleep would technically end and edit it so that it would end at that point um, you can also change the level of sound compared to everything else. This clip did not need that, however the other ones did. So I got my bleep sound and then I wanted a clock ticking to increase anticipation. And so I wanted the clock to tick, tick to start after the bleep. So I went ahead and dragged that in. Um, this one was a little more difficult because it was so long. And it was also a lot louder than the bleep sound, and so I wanted to make sure it was quieter. Um, you can use keyframes on this as well if you wanted it to be loud at one point and lower at another. I did not need that, so I went ahead and just changed it all together to negative 16 decibels. And then what I did was I found where I wanted it to stop, which was right there, right before the toast popped up, and then I wanted to use a marker, so I added a marker so I knew that that's where the sound needed to end. And as you can see, it goes all the way to the very, very end of the composition, and I can't even see the end of the audio as it's so long. So I went ahead and zoomed out. If it'll let me and then drag that piece to the very so I can see the very end there's probably a more efficient way to do this but this is what I found works for me if you know any of other of any other ways please let me know I know in Premiere you can use just a cut tool however I couldn't find the equivalent to that so then I dragged it to that mark spot so now I have it where it needs to end and it's where it needs to start as well so I went ahead and locked that layer because I'm done with it. And then after the clock ticking, I wanted the toaster sound to pop up. Um, this one was a little easier. It still was a little loud, so I needed to edit it. Um, but it wasn't as loud as the first one, so I did about negative 8 decibels. And then it has a little more audio than I need, and that extra audio causes a little bit of a weird sound that makes it less believable that the toast is popping up. So I wanted to cut that part out, and then I went ahead and locked it, and the audio was done.